everybody welcome back to boxcars garage okay today is going to be kind of a crazy day and i don't know how it's going to work out yet um, i'm going to be on remote i'm going to be doing a little pick at a location that i found yesterday actually i was looking through uh, facebook and somebody was selling a um, a casket it looked like a wooden casket it looked like kind of a homemade sort of deal um, pretty detailed but while I wasn't interested in a casket, um, what I was interested in, I always try to scan the perimeters of the picture, you know, to see, you know, look for trace evidence of, uh, you know, cool stuff that I would be interested in. And in this picture, there was something that was pretty cool. And uh, there was a little bit of a base of a gas pump showing in the photograph. So I sent him a message and I said, hey, uh, I'm not interested in the casket, but I am interested in that gas pump that's sitting right beside the casket. And um, they replied back to me pretty quick, and they said, "Yeah, come on by." Um, had a four o'clock sound, and I was all over it. So um, met them at four o'clock and started this uh, walkthrough. And you know, it's going to be one of those walkthroughs that I never forget got some really neat stuff there um, I don't know if it's going to be attainable um, price wise we'll see it would be awesome just to be able to capture you know the place and the things together in the setting that they you know as he acquired them and had them on display and whatnot I it was just it was awesome and I've seen a lot of places and I've done a lot of collecting on my own and this guy is like, I would have loved to have met him. Thought you might be interested, thought I'd take you all along. And um, we'll see if this works out or not. So, check it out. So here's a quick note. Um, I'm driving to this place and I just drove by this um, car show and swap meet. You know, if I strike out where I'm going, um, I can always go back to um, go to the other I've got a fallback plan that's the way I should process it right so the executor of the estate quickly opted out of the video game plan they didn't really see any sort of value in it for them and um, I don't know I think it just kind of weirded them out that somebody wanted to shoot a video of their stuff and put it on YouTube so anyway understand step back and um, tried to regroup there they're currently working out some pricing for me so I didn't want to uh, you know fall on the sword on that sort of situation so I moved on the uh, the two workshops one being the, the four bay had a couple interesting things and it. it had uh, some more video games from the 80s it had a uh, Air Force T-38 glass canopy have no idea what that was for and uh, there was also an old Krauss Heinz uh, four-way intersection traffic light that would have been really nice but um, heavy as all get out I think it was like suspended from the ceiling with like a two-ton hoist crane those manual types and in the uh, single bay garage there was more video games coke machines ski ball a couple of ski ball units um, a lift some mechanic tools again couple of Jaguars up on a lift um, in some level of restoration and uh, tons of boxes boxes that I could have went through but um, we'll see if I'm able to get back there or not they had stuff hanging from the ceilings a lot of bicycles and uh, one bicycle in particular that I'm interested in I'll get back to you on how that one works out but um, yeah this is a would be a pretty nice pick but it's it's kind of driving toward the almost retail level so I really don't know what I'm gonna walk away with right now they were uh, nice enough to go ahead and let me pick up the one-armed lady and um, for the shop I thought that would be a cool addition and I don't know exactly how old it is I think it's probably you know 20 years old or whatever but uh, she looks older than what she is So I knew it was going to be interesting. They're kind of locked into the let's get as close to retail kind of, you know, as we can kind of thing. 
I was very appreciative in the fact that they allowed me to buy one of the pieces that I was interested in and that was that uh, little uh, barroom dancing girl kind of thing missing the arm um, I was able to pick that up for 20 bucks um, the coat porcelain uh, marquee sign I picked that up for 50 bucks and then the Rayovac plastic kitty bank that was uh, a ten dollar purchase so, so I did walk away with three things and I've got a, like another eight or so that they're trying to price which is them going to like eBay and whatnot it's gonna be a nightmare I can see those things not happening but um, we passed that car show on the way in and yep you guessed it that's where we're going now that car show swap meet and um, we're gonna go see what's a shaking there and um, see if my luck continues
So Piper wanted to be in the shot. We, uh, well, there you go, big a baby. So what I ended up with this weekend, the girl, got her all cleaned up. She was a dirty girl when I originally got her. I like it, pretty good addition um, to the shop. My, uh, well, let's just say that there's some critics um, that aren't that appreciative of my, um, my saloon girl. But um, anyway, uh, the Indian likes her. And I wish I could have filmed the collection to share it with you, but unfortunately that just didn't work out. And um, maybe there'll be a chance um, next time around if they do end up having me back. Um, and I'll try to get some pictures of some uh, artwork that the, um, the original owner did um, before he passed away. Anyway, uh, let's check out the sign and um, I'll give you some idea what I'm gonna have to do with that. And uh, so for the sign, it's, it's a little bit rough for sure. I believe these spots on it right here is uh, tar and it's got uh, like roofing granules like you'd find on a, you know, on a regular roof. I'm pretty sure that this was probably filling up a hole of some type on a roof. Somebody used it as roofing material. Um, and there's no other explanation for these, uh, these batches of tar. And that was relatively common back in the day, recycling these signs into, you know, something either on your roof or on the side of the house or whatever. Um, but probably stripped it off, you know, with a demo or, um, or uh, whatever. Somebody pulled it off of where it was at, but I'm pretty sure it was used on a roof. I haven't cleaned it up. Hopefully uh, it'll clean up, you know, it'll clean up better than what it is right now. It, it'll never be perfect. I'm playing with the idea of um, adding the, uh, the white marquee that goes along the top. And there's supposed to be like a 15 inch um, yellow circle right at the bottom with a, a bottle of Coke on it. And um, you know, those by themselves, like are on eBay right now for 700 bucks, I can make a disc of metal, paint it yellow, get a sticker the right size and slap it on there and call it good as far as I'm concerned. So I could make this thing end up looking like it did back in, you know, the late 30s when it actually used to hang up. And then I might go ahead and like I did on the shell sign, I might go ahead and put a little bit of paint on it. This should have said, well, it still says drink, um, drink Coca-Cola, but you really can't make out that at all. And it would be nice to have that back on there. So we'll see. I'll get rid of the visual distractors, you know, to a point, not to the level that I did for the shell sign, but this is not in the same state of disrepair as the shell sign. But anyway, it's a pretty large sign. You gotta have some space for it. And last but not least, I got my new little piggy bank, the Ever Ready Cool Cat piggy bank, which I've never seen one of these before. Um, but if I keep on having weekends like this, I'm not gonna have any pennies to put in the cool cat so anyway I thought it was pretty neat um, 60s late 60s era and when is when you know these were available I'm assuming it was a giveaway but I'm not for sure no so I hope you enjoyed the video um, completely random events tied together um, it was a random sort of weekend in general I had hoped that the estate sale was going to be more of the video and um, I really didn't plan on the show but I was glad to have it just because things kind of fell short with regards to the estate sale so maybe they'll call me back and we'll have some some pricing to talk about that ends up working for both parties and I'll have some neat things to show you in the future hope you enjoyed the video uh, like comment subscribe share with your friends if you like randomness then I'm your guy Boxcars Garage is your channel because I'm all about random. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. See you later.